guys and welcome back to my youtube channel tell me why i'm standing on my bed i don't know but so i thought i'll show you my quick outfit yes but you know from the title already it's not about the outfit it's about the luck hairstyles and i can't wait to show you 10 of my go-to luck hairstyles so let's get into it yeah and actually let's stop there if you've gone here so far why don't you subscribe yeah it doesn't cost you nothing and i know you want to come back and peep and see some more so do you girl a favor and subscribe to my channel yeah okay so as you could see from my video before or if you're a new subscriber why don't you check out my last video on how i interlock and my five-year journey go on no you want to but anyway so i showed you how i interlocked and i showed you the style but i didn't actually show you how i got to the style so i thought why not you know show you how i actually get these locks into bantu knots because i've had a lot of people ask me recently like oh i love your hair how do you do it like that so i'm gonna give you a quick breakdown so yeah let's do it so i'm gonna take out this one here and let's get some scissors Oh god. I'm gonna try and get the scissors to take this out. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, I've this is my second time doing the Bantu knots, or probably third time. But I really, really love this hairstyle guys. Like it's just quick and easy when i say quick and easy it's just straightforward to do once i show you the method and it's just it's a style that you know you get two styles for one if i like to say so give me give me a second guys <laughs> okay so just use like a needle or you know like a tail tail um tail and comb and i'm just gonna undo this one right here like guys look how gorgeous those curls are like look at the ends yeah so just get two locks it hasn't got to be two locks it can be three because as you can see this one here i used three locks because i don't have even locks in my head i don't know the number of locks i have <laughs> but i haven't got even locks in my head so anyway you just twist it just normal twist like that yep just twist all the way down to the bottom of the lock and then oh girl your locks are getting long <laughs> and then you just once you got to the end like that you just fold it back on yourself get yourself an elastic band and then you just elastic band the end like so and then you just, it's like you just tie the knot in your hair, literally. And depending on the length of your locks, guys. So my locks, even though they're like shoulder length, like I wouldn't leave it like that because I like it to be a bit like, you know, why am I tiptoeing? <laughs> I like it to be a bit like, you know, a bit of a bub look. So you could always tie it again and there voila and depending on how you want to style your hair so it can be like i like to i like the crossover effect because i think it's cute and you know it's just nice or you could always just pull it like a middle part and as you can see because i wanted it to be shorter on this side like my luck this side is a bit longer because i haven't double knotted it but obviously i could make it even in you know that bob look if i wanted to have like a center part and let me just show you from behind it's just literally and that's that like that's your first style bantu locks really cute and the last long yep let's get to the next style so let's get taking out these Bantu locks, guys. Yes. 
It's so awkward trying to take out hair without a mirror, guys. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Remember to pull too tight on your locks as well because you just, you just don't want to add unnecessary stress to them. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, I was so excited to make this video today with you guys and to share, like, my go-to lux really because go-to lux my go-to hairstyle because you always get that common like you know thing when before you start lux like oh well, how can i style it like i remember when i first had my lux and bearing in mind even though my lux were very like small when i started i used to think to myself at the time i used to go out still i used to go clubbing and that when i was younger and i'd be like how am i meant to go to the club with these baby lux on my head like let's be honest you know what i mean and you know i can just talk from a place of you know lack length privilege that it can be done and you know i only wish that i would have took more photos and have been more you know um bold with not bold literally but you know with just saying you know what forget what people think i'm just gonna do me and just wrap my hair but you know hindsight is a beautiful thing isn't it guys and to those that are thinking about doing it or at the start of their journey and their locks are small like babies like just do you like at the end of the day people are gonna probably look for a minute and then you know what they're gonna think oh my gosh she's got guts like do you know what i mean trust me so i'm just gonna quickly take these out yep Let's get to it. <laughs> Before I step halfway through, just to show you, you know, the Bantu versus the Bantu takeout, and look at it like, come on, guys. The curls are giving, aren't they? They're really cute. They're really cute. Star number two is the Bantu Nuts Takeout. Look how gorgeous these curls are, guys. Like, mm, they're luscious, aren't they? And you can obviously have it in a centre part like this. I know that this side might be a bit flatter than that side well not flat but the curls a bit down here well next time i know you know everything's a learning curve guys yeah and i will definitely nut it up this high and have like a center part so the curls can be equal but you know we should know by now or get to know that i actually like to wrap my hair to the side like this i'll show you the back as well guys Isn't it gorgeous, guys? So let's get into star number two. <laughs> no, no, sorry, star number three. <laughs> right, so star number three is a plait at the front and pull in the back. So let's get to it. So just grab this a section. It's a small section of the front. Yep. And then you can do likewise. You just put this in a quick bubble. If I'm being honest, guys, I prefer to use elastic bands because I feel like bubbles have too much like restriction so yeah so just plait it it's a quick quick came roll it feels so awkward doing the came roll <laughs> just watching myself but I kind of want to show you how I do it and then oh gosh guys please don't come for me my makeup right now it's quite warm and yep your girl can sweat in her head sometimes but it's life right <laughs> and i really want to show you these hairstyles because they're really really gorgeous and cute so let's do a quick plait like so yeah and then just get elastic band to put the end again 
and then you just you just spring it. Oh, <laughs> you just spring it, and then put it in a pony. It can be a high or a low pony. It's up to you guys. I'm gonna put it in the low pony for this video, and I know you're gonna come from my edges and be like, "Girl, what are those?" Watch and get me. A few moments later. Okay, so let's get the headscarf off. <laughs> and oh, yep. So as you can see, the plaits are there and a little pony there. And that is style number three. Oh, what am I just? <laughs> so let's get into the next style. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just took up my previous style and we are on to number four right now. Guys, look at these cows, man. Like, come on, man. Not sharp, bro. <laughs> Even though I ain't judging if you if you buy do you fall locks. So star number I can't even count right now, guys. Star number four is a fringe and a pony again so just really simple does it take much to do guys oh gosh i've got a lot not at the back of my head i've got to take out there we go there we go and you know what i had to get a little thin band because my i don't realize how much my hair is growing and the elastic bands keep popping <laughs> and it ain't ain't the one so yeah, that's number three. So, got the lock fringe. You know, I told you I like to keep my forehead covered a bit, you know. And then, just the fringe at the back. It's really cute. And, you know what I mean? It's cute, cute and flirty. You can rock it, you know, work, wherever, wherever, wherever the occasion, guys. It's nice. Get into it. Okay guys, so I had to change location because my baby is sleeping in my room, so luck star number eight. Okay guys, so maybe I miscounted the styles, but there's definitely nine styles that I've done. I know it tends a little bit misleading, but such is life, so yeah, let's proceed and continue the styles, yeah? <laughs> So I'm just gonna put my hair down like this. Put hair all down. Let's get one scrunchie. Okay. And there you go. Is this literally a high front pony? And you can see from the back. It is cute, isn't it? It's giving. It's like, it's more like, everyone hear what people say. You know what? I'm going to put them tickets to Sean Paul, you know. It's giving carnival, like, it's giving summer, literally. It's nice, right? Yeah. And that's star number eight. We nearly done. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm running out of styles? Never never that is what it is like you can never run out of stars as you can see so i'm gonna get into my ninth style so i just get my two little heads at the front and we're gonna do a bun a lock bun yep if you want it to be all slicked up you can put whatever you want to put on your edges and if you don't want to put nothing on your edges that's still okay right i'm gonna do it quite high Sorry guys, I haven't got Emre with me, so <sighs> let's get this bubble in. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you know what? Thank God for like, you know, this journey because I never thought I'd get tired of putting my hair into a into a bubble. Do you know what I mean? Let's get this into a bun. <sighs> and there you have it guys. Obviously, you can put a next, um, a next scrunchie on top, or just tuck in the little. You see the little leaveways there. If you like, really like paranoid, you can just tuck them in. 
but oh, I'm sweating upstairs so I have to do my edges again but it is what it is and that's literally it get into it guys it's really nice isn't it yeah that's number 10 <laughs> uh, okay and number 10 just literally just get this side and do a quick little plait a little camo shall I say not all the way to the back but just like I'd say we think I'd say probably about I don't know a quarter I'm not really good at maths <laughs> <laughs> but just you know just a little bit just to like probably there yeah and then you can get like a little elastic band there we go i got my elastic band just to put it there and there you go this is like a a cute side cute side and that side out oh, is you know yeah so that's it guys that's it there you have it i've given you 10 stars on how to you know style your hair after a bantu lock takeout and let me know what styles you choose put them in the comments below and let me know which one's your favorite ones i know which one i like i like all of them <laughs> but anyway I look forward to seeing you in my next video